we do begin tonight over in San Patricio County where an eight liner business is out of luck tonight after getting busted by law enforcement during a raid late last week. Tonight we are learning more about how that raid went down and the length authorities went to in order to make that bust happen. Our Seth Kovar went to Sinton tonight and that's where all of this unfolded. First of all, it's against the law. But that's not all. Game rooms like this one along FM 136 near Taft can be dangerous. Someone's going to get hurt trying to rob these places. Here's a good example. Why does the manager have a gun in his pocket? So it's because they know these things do happen. Unlawful carrying of a weapon is one of the charges 20-year-old Michael Salito now faces, along with keeping a gambling place, among others. It took months of trying, but Sheriff Oscar Rivera is pleased. The gambling hall is now no more. You're putting these people that are played in danger, you're putting yourself in danger, and you're putting us in danger. because We don't know what's going on. But uh, it needs to stop at some point. It looks pretty simple, but the San Patricio County Sheriff's Office says this is the home of a sophisticated gambling operation. Anyone wanting to play the slot machine style games had to go through two metal doors with a security guard in between. That vetting process helped them snuff out local undercover officers until a little help arrived. Unknown deputies from just south of San Antonio. We got some help from Wilson County to go in there and start playing the games and sure enough every time they go over there they get paid cash so uh, we made the, the decided to do the search warrant on Thursday which led to Salito's arrest and tickets for a number of people caught gambling the building is now in the sheriff's office's hands another game room busted in San Patricio County I hope that uh, at some point people realize that we're not going to stop we're going to if it's operating legally we're going to continue doing our job Seth Kovar Chris 6 News